Hey YouTube, what's going on? I'm Greg. Welcome back to my machine shop. So we've been working on our cylinder head. We finished the machining on the bottom. We finished the machining on the top. Today we're going to wrap up the machining on all the other four sides. The two spark plugs go on this side. We'll be machining those at a 30 degree angle. And then we'll be machining the pads for the exhaust flanges on both ends and then the intake port on the front. So all of this we're going to be doing on the CNC machine. So let's go look at Fusion 360 at our tool paths and then load this up in the machine and, and watch her rip. All right. The 3D model here will allow us to get our visual bearings on our engine. We're working on the cylinder head, which is here. Particularly, we're going to be machining the two spark plug holes. Here I've got one spark plug installed in this hole and I've hidden the spark plug here so we can see the features. It's three nested holes. There's a larger flat here that allows us access to the spark plug with our spark plug wrench. Then there's the threaded hole for the spark plug itself and then a small hole for the spark plug electrode to extend into the combustion chamber. These two features are at 30 degree angle to the face. So here's the cylinder head in Fusion 360. And we're going to be machining these two features here and here. And we want to machine them with the head loaded in the vise at a 30 degree angle. We're going to add some material here to square off this corner. And it'll look like this. And as you can see, I've added a little bit of material to make this look like a very simple feature consisting of three nested holes. Here we can see our axis is set up. So we use this edge to establish the Z point for our Y axis. We use the face, the top vertical face for the zero point for our Z axis. And the center of the part will be the center of our x-axis. First we'll machine out the majority of the material for the pocket. Then we'll machine the flat base, which is a horizontal milling operation. And finally we will machine the threaded portion and the small entry hole for the electrode. Let's go see how we set this up on the CNC machine itself. So here we have the cylinder head clamped in the CNC vise and it's loaded at a 30 degree angle. I'm going to use my electronic probe to set the X zero point, then touch up on this edge for my Y zero point, and then bring the tool down to the top for the Z zero point. Okay. I'll set the X axis to zero right there. And zip around to the other end of the part. Go to the same Y point. Probe this side. Split the difference and that'll give me my X zero point. Then touch off on this bottom edge. Establish the zero point for the Y axis. It's an eighth inch pin I'm using. So this is minus one sixteenth of an inch. Probe is connected to the vise and to the tool. And when the CNC program detects continuity between the two, we know the tool is, is touching the part. The tool is moving down very slowly, just a half an inch per minute. And right there, we set our Z-axis to zero. Then we hit the go button, watch the quarter inch end mill do its work. Then 
This is a eighth inch end mill. It's used to do the finish machining on the threaded hole and the smaller quarter inch hole. I'm using a very light mist. I'm doing it more to cool the part than to lubricate the part. The carbide tip prefers to cut dry. It's important to keep the part cool. Let's pull this out of the vise and see how the holes line up between the machining done on the side of the part and the bottom of the part. It looks pretty good. Well, I'm real happy with the way the machining went for the spark plug holes. The machining we did on the side matched up very nicely with the holes that we had done previously for the spark plugs on the underside. I'm going to put all the G-Code and Fusion 360 files up on my Patreon page for those that are interested. And I'll leave you with the machining of the remaining three sides on the CNC machine. I'll speed it up a little bit. So I'll sign off here. I'm Greg. Thanks for visiting me in my machine shop. Until next time, take care.